Diamond. Hey, Doctor. How are you? I told you I was going to come see you. Yes, yes. Mwah. Mwah. Good to see you. What you doing? Just taking care of some things. Taking care of some things. Well, this isn't a friendly visit. This is going to be a business visit. I need help. Okay. How am I looking? Because I feel like I look like shit. Look, I haven't been doing my nails. Oh, no, and you know, I keep looking at me. Black nail polish and not even done. You look fabulous. You I can't tell. Fabulous. I can't tell. Let me um, let me just pay you so we can have an official visit. Because I know you said I could come in anytime I wanted yes. to. But business yes. is business. Yes. So I just want to, I don't even know what you charge, but I just want to, you know, take care of this. Um, shit. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so good I love your office. You. This is nice. Well, thank you. Let me get some things cleared away. Um, okay. Uh, do you mind if I take record the session? I don't mind, dog. I, okay. okay. Can I move some of these pillows? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. Right ahead. you have anything to drink? Um, water, coffee, or tea? Water, coffee, or tea? Um, That's my option. Yes, um, yes, I'm afraid so. I'm yeah. afraid so. Maybe I'll do some coffee or something later. I'm already hyped. Oh, okay. You mind if I get comfortable? Uh, I mean, this is, I've never right been in a, you know, a doctor's right office ahead. before. Go so. right ahead. Go okay. right ahead. Okay. Uh, All right. I'm, I'm going to start. Okay. Right. So it was nice talking to you on the uh, flight back to Jamaica. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, let me stop for a minute here. Um, oh, I just wanted to make sure. Did, did you need a receipt for this? What the hell do I need a receipt for? Okay. What I'm going to do, write this off on my taxes? Do people write off doctor business on their taxes? It depends. So depends. what do I call you, psychiatrist, drink, just doc? Like, you, remember I told you this is new to me. You can call me Dr. Lana, Dr. Lovely. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Here and here, what we say is sacred anyway. Okay. But I'm happy that you decided to come to the office because even though we were in first class, it's still not private. And I, I wanted you to feel safe and open up about some things that we had talked about on the flight. Okay. <laughs> um, one of the things I um, remember talking to you about is you said that you date ball players exclusively? Yeah. Okay. Why do you think that is? Why why do I date ball players? Right, exclusively. Besides the obvious that they have money? Well, money. Remember okay. I told you I don't fuck with nothing broke. Okay. Okay. And by broke I mean you your check is like a couple of thousand. I need like hundreds of thousands. I need somebody to make a whole lot of money. Okay. So to date me. I understand. I understand. Okay. You also said that uh, you didn't trust men. Is that correct? Um, I mean, I trust them as far as I can see them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, some of these guys that I date, some of them are married. You know, which is at this point in my life, I don't really care. I probably should care, but I don't because, for one, I'm not married. So why should I even worry about, you know, the next bitch husband cheating on her? You understand what I'm saying? Is that is that wrong? Like, should I care? It's like I don't give a fuck. Do you think it's wrong? No. Actually, I don't. Okay. Tell me what your relationship with your father was like. You said, what was it like? What was it like? You're acting like he's dead. He's still living. What is it like? It's nice. I mean, my father knows that I, you know, date these men. I don't really tell him everything, but, you know, he does know that I do date wealthy men. I mean, my father's wealthy, so why would I date something that's less than my dad? Okay. You know, growing up, he always told us, because it's five girls, it's five of us. So growing up, you know, he always said, a man's supposed to take care of his household, a man's supposed to take care of his woman, a man's supposed to be a great provider. And, I mean, he did all those things for my mother. You know, he took care of us. He made sure she had, I mean, she drove the fanciest cars. She wore the nicest clothes. You know, she had diamonds and 
you know, emeralds and pearls. I don't even know why she has pearls. I can't stand pearls. But anyway, pearls make you look old. But I'm just saying. So, they divorced because he cheated on my mother. Like, she wasn't going to tolerate cheating. So, she divorced him, you know, despite of everything. And, I mean, she had a lot of money when they divorced. But I'm just trying to figure out what did she do with the money. Because we ended up in the projects. We went from, like, the suburbs to the projects, like, a year after they divorced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So your father was uh, very successful. Yes. And he, did he equate success with money? Yes. Okay. So he set the, uh, this bar pretty high for the men in your life. I guess. Do you, do you think that uh, you compare the men in your life to your father? Um, as far as being successful, yes. As far as, like, when I say success, I mean, you know, you live in a nice house. You can eat at any fancy restaurant. You can drive whatever you want. You know, you have a lot of money in your bank account. And you just pretty much do whatever you feel like it because you have the money. You know, I went through struggling. When my parents got divorced and my mother, I still tell his dad, I asked her, what did you do with the money? Because I know he gave her, well, he tells me that he gave her money. You know, she says that he didn't really give her enough to take care of the five of us. But, I mean, I have a trust fund, you know. So, I can, I, well, I know your parents are not supposed to touch your trust fund. So, which is probably why I was, are still intact and why I can still just, I don't have to work. You see what I'm saying? I could just get my money out of, you know, the bank. But, my father keeps saying that he gave mommy money to take care of us. And then she's saying that when he left that he didn't, which is why we ended up in the projects. So I don't I don't really know. But I just know that I don't want to end up in the projects again. I understand. I understand. Which is why, you know, remember I told you that I make these men buy me properties and stuff like that? Because my name has to be on the deed. You know what I'm saying? I don't want someone to buy me something and then be able to just take it back away from me. What are your feelings for marriage? Oh, what? Would you like to be married no. someday? No. Why? To be somebody's wife? To have a man cheat on me like these men are cheating on their wives and their girlfriends or whatever? No. I don't want to be married, tied down, have to answer to somebody and can't do what I want to do. That sucks. That's whack. So are you the only woman for um, the gentleman that you see? I don't know and I really don't care. I mean, I get what I need out of them, what I want out of them. So, I don't have to be the main one. I, I might, I might change how I am as a person. I might start acting jealous and possessive, and you know, they might tell me I can do this and can't do that. Or, you know, I like, to, I like to be able to get up and go. The way my life is now, I can get up and go. If I want to see this person, I can see him. If I don't want to see him, I don't have to see him. And do the gentlemen know that uh, they are not exclusive? I mean, I keep it real. I'm not stupid. You know, I'm not going to tell everything like I'm, you know, talking to you, getting away from you and six other people. I'm not going to tell them that. I ain't fucking up my game plan. I don't owe them any explanations. They don't ask, I don't tell. It is what it is. So success and mainly um, money is uh, very important to you. Yep. Now, do you date um, other in ball players? Huh? Do you date like millionaire movie stars or? I have. Uh -huh. Most of them tend to be bisexual. Really? And I'm not fooling with a bisexual man. Yeah. Something about Hollywood. You know, I date I date people um, that sell real estate. You know, they make excellent money. You know, out out here in L.A., you know, you can date whoever. They got the money. Yes, yes, you can. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about money. Money is my goal. That's what it comes down to. Maybe years from now, when I feel like I want to have children and you know be settled and I can actually trust someone, then maybe I can be exclusive with someone if I find that. Miracle Man. Okay. You had said that you had dated drug dealers. 
do you have any concerns about that? How did your father have any concerns about He didn't know that? I dated drug dealers. I mean, when we moved to the projects, that's pretty much everything that was around there, drug dealers. They had the money. They had the cars. And they gave me money. You know, I was a young girl, so they bought me, you know, jewelry and clothes and, you know, nice coats and earrings. Because at this, at this point, we were living in New York City. You know, we went from, like, Long Island to New York, to the projects in Queens. So, <clears throat> to fit in, you know, that's what you wore, like, the big gold, like, door knocking earrings and, you know, the Reebok sneakers and the Timberland boots and the Woolridge coats and the Gore-Tex, you know, that's, and the Gucci bags and, you know, so, looking like that, you fit in. I see. Is it important to you to fit in? What do you mean? Do you have to, are you trying to achieve some kind of, um, I don't want to say stereotype, um, existence. That's a good question. Um, I don't know. I know I'm going to leave my mark. And, I mean, you know, I like to stand out. Maybe we have to come back to that question at another time, because right now I don't think I can answer that. So you enjoy traveling and living in different places? I do, but believe it or not, I'm, I don't like flying. I'm scared to fly. Really? Yeah, which is why I think, remember when, when I was talking to you on the plane, you kept asking me, why am I getting so much to drink? Uh, yes. When I kept telling her, you know, just bring me everything that, that you guys have. Because I'm scared of heights, but, but I live in like penthouses. Like, I always get the top floor because I know that that's the best. I like everything that's the best. I see. It's, it's, it's so crazy because, like, I love coach bags. Like, I love coach. So, like this one, you know. You're always going to see me in a coach nice. bag. But my friends are always like, you love the best of everything, but why aren't you carrying, like, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 $30, pocketbook? Because you have the money to get them. But it's something about a coach bag that I just feel like I can dress it up, I can dress it down. Coach is something that you can wear with everything. And I'm not about to spend... $50,000 on a pocketbook. I see. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'll spend that money on something else. Coach, I spend $500, you know, and that's a nice bag for me. So they always say, Diamond, you got all this money, but then you always want to buy out the coach store. Let's let's go buy out, what is it, Hermes? I can't even pronounce the damn name. Is it is it called Hermes? H-E-R-M-E-S? Hermes. Okay. Those bags are like started like $15,000 and stuff, $20,000. I can't see me carrying a pocketbook for that much money. But I'll buy, like, a ring or, you know, a pendant. Mm -hmm. But if, as far as a purse, and I can't live in that shit, I'm not spending more than $500 on a pocketbook. I see. That makes sense? Yes, absolutely. And I remember you telling me that you do invest your money. You have investment properties. I do. I do. Mm -hmm. And they're solely in your And I also have CDs and stocks and bonds. And they're solely in your Yes, name. I don't play that bullshit. That's right. Okay. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to discuss? Anything on your mind? I mean, I always have stuff on my mind. I just don't know if I really feel like talking about it right now. I thought, I thought doctors are supposed to have a way of getting stuff out of you that you don't feel like talking about. Yeah, no, but I mean, remember, remember, we did discuss, um, that guy, he kind of changed me a little bit. Remember the guy I told you I met? Yeah. 